to be no food at all in for bread. So it end up to the old age in my home. But this is another one. This well, down homes is my previous, and this previous had already died out. Why I tell you down homes previous had died out because four years ago my last sape died. So there we in this world there will be no more down homes. Ok, donc euh, on revient vers la, la première photo où il dit que c'était sa toute première euh, charpée qui s'est avérée euh, inapte à la reproduction parce qu'elle était pas bonne. Euh, pour la photo suivante, euh, euh, c'est Down Homes, euh, c'est Monafix qui euh, n'existe plus, il n'y aura plus de chiens en Down Homes parce que ma dernière euh, euh, charpée est morte il y a 4 ans. This is a male. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Reasonably good head, good ears, but this dog got a pink tongue. And this dog got a wrong color. This dog is somewhat. The basic color is a premium, but he got some deeper color of yellow spot on the back, which which is definitely a bad, incorrect color. Ce chien a uh, une bonne tête et des bonnes oreilles, mais au niveau couleur, qui est crème, il, il n'est pas bon parce qu'il a des taches, donc uh, il ne rentre pas dans le, dans le standard. This is Dung Holmes and the Revival. This is a dog on my Facebook. This one is my most important blue bitch. No matter what is the stud dog I use on her, she produced her own type. Cette chaîne, vous la trouvez euh, sur Facebook. Euh, C'est la chaîne la plus importante de mon élevage, ma, ma meilleure reproductrice, parce que n'importe quel mal que j'utilise avec elle, elle a toujours donné des bons résultats. Look at the head. Fred Scout, with the right amount of wrinkles. The length from the tip of the nose to the stop between the eyes is more or less equal from the stop to the occiput. So that is the type of head that we are looking for. And also the right amount of wrinkle, the good shape of scalp and muscle and very good deep sunken eyes. You know, most of my dogs I never use eye collection. I never use surgeries. But I, I must admit, in my breeding stock, there are eye troubles and trophies. But I would rather to pick up good eyes to breed from to eliminate the trouble by the DNA, rather than for all the puppy just pick it up to the vet and do the surgery. <rire> bah, regardez la tête, euh, elle a un, un très bon crâne avec le, le nombre de plis euh, qu'il faut. Euh, après la distance euh, entre le, la truffe et le stop, et le stop jusqu'à l'occiput est égal. Donc là vous voyez une très belle tête, aussi bien en nombre de plis. Euh, quand on a œil, elle a des yeux bien enfoncés dans, dans les orbites. Et euh, je dois dire que je n'ai jamais utilisé la correction des yeux euh, ni d'opération. 
j'ai préféré, je ne dis pas qu'il n'y a pas eu de problème Dieu dans mes lignées, mais j'ai préféré éliminer ces chiens, ce DNA euh, avec euh, cette faute et j'ai euh, favorisé les, les chiens avec les bons yeux. One bad thing about the head are the years. The years are on the top of the skull, small, but not exactly very tight and close to the head. Les oreilles, il y a un défaut, même si elles sont bien placées en haut de, du crâne. Could you repeat, please, what's the problem with ears? The ears, first of all, the ear grows on the top of the skull, which is good. Donc, comme je disais, l'emplacement des oreilles est correct. Secondly, the ear shape. Is small and in good Et la forme de l'oreille est bonne aussi, elle est petite. But the bad thing is, the ears are not stick close tight to the skull. Le problème c'est qu'elles sont pas bien plaquées contre le crâne. But this was a dog I will never forget. Actually, she made the big inference in my brain. And those dogs sent to America, I would say a big percentage are from this, were from this beach. Pourtant, c'est une chaîne que je n'oublierai jamais. Elle a eu une grande influence sur mon élevage et beaucoup de ses descendants sont partis aux États-Unis. This is not my dog, but a dog belonged to my friend. Well, the head piece is okay. Again, except one very bad thing are where the years. Different problems with the years. Any revival's year is on the good position, small, but not close to head. This year is in good shape, pretty close to head, but The year where the years were not on the top of the skull. Mm -hmm. It is on the side of the skull. And this position of the year affects the expression of the head tone. Ce chien euh, ne m'appartient pas, mais est à un ami. Là encore, on a un problème d'oreille. Euh, bien qu'elle soit petite, euh, elles sont mal implantées, elles ne sont pas euh, au, sur la tête, mais plus sur le côté. Yes. This is Mui Chu. This chunky dog, chunky bitch. Look at the tail. This is, is a very, very special carriage of tail and it was unique. As far as my dogs are concerned, it's only her that carry <coughs> such a tail. And she is, she is, up to now, is still the symbol, the logo of the Chinese Sape Cup of America. Just look at the tail. Euh, cette chaîne, regardez surtout euh, le port de queue, euh, qui est unique. Euh, C'est la, la seule chaîne euh, qui a jamais présenté sa, son fouet comme ça. Mais elle est quand même toujours l'emblème euh, du club euh, charpet des, des États-Unis, malgré son port de queue. Pretty nice hat. Excellent cook texture. The bad thing about this bitch is she is too low to the ground and also look at the high quarters. It is too straight. Uh, elle a une jolie tête et une texture excellente de, de, de fourrure. 
mais elle est trop basse sur pattes et ses angulés euh, arrière sont manquantes. Angulation arrière sont manquantes. Yes. This is Buddha. Buddha is a big size dog. Actually, too big in size. Very strong bone, but it, it, he still maintains a square view. But the thing is, the overall size of this dog is too big. Later on, this dog went to America and did a lot of stud service over there. Euh, ce mâle euh, est trop grand, euh, il a une bonne ossature, euh, il rentre bien dans un carré, il est parti aux états unis où il a fait pas mal de saillies. Another big puppy, I think when this picture was taken, it was, the puppy was around six months old. Un show de six mois. Yep. So there is another puppy bred in the early days. Well, I don't have any special comment on that. Pas de commentaire sur ce show-ci qui a été élevé dans les premiers jours des. Ah, one thing is, ah. this puppy was sent to America. And this dog later on did a lot of breeding in America. Il y a juste que à, à dire que le show est parti aux États-Unis et il a il a il a fait beaucoup de saignes là-bas. Donc il a été important pour l'élevage américain. Okay. Let me introduce this dog to you. The background one holding the dog is me. <laughs> I was that young. This dog is a real fighter, very, very nasty in characters. He had killed at least three to four cats, really nasty. I remember one time she was shot inside a kennel. And in the, my kennel and get some sort of wiring. And there was a cat outside his kennel, try to, the, the cat is relaxed and easy, clean himself, despite this dog barking mad at him. The cat is still there, washing himself. And suddenly this dog falls out through the wire. And that's all. I hate that. I really hate that. So, because of this type of character, this dog, I think I only use him one time or two times in stud. But let me tell you, this is a color, what we originally call, call a rusty color. Ce chien est un, un vrai tueur, euh, il, a, il a tué au moins trois ou quatre chats et un jour il était dans son chenil et un chat euh, de l'autre côté euh, du grillage qui était en train de se nettoyer calmement, euh, le chien il s'est excité, il a foncé sur le grillage et je n'aime vraiment pas ça pour son mauvais caractère, je l'ai utilisé peut-être qu'une ou deux fois. Par contre, euh, je le montre pour sa couleur, un peu difficile à voir sur le euh, C'est la couleur rouillée, on peut dire ça Rouillée Oui. This is what a color, what I call, what we call a rusty color. And the type of texture <laughs> and the texture of the coat is what I call excellent. 
when you run your hand over the coat, you really feel that jabbing in your hand. To us, in the eyes of Chinese people, that is the best texture of coat. Well, later on, if the time allows, I will tell you my opinion on the coat. It is not necessary for you to believe me, but I just want to tell you something of my experience and what I believe. Euh, donc je disais que c'est la, la couleur rouille. Euh, regardez euh, la, la texture euh, de son poil. Euh, quand vous passez la main sur le dos, ça vous pique à, à l'intérieur de, de, de la main. Et euh, nous trouvons en Chine que c'est la meilleure texture, euh, la texture qu'on recherche. Euh, un peu plus tard, euh, si le temps nous le permet, je vous parlerai de, de la, de, de, des poils du chien et vous n'êtes pas obligé de me croire, mais je vous parlerai juste de mon expérience euh, avec euh, la texture des, des poils. This is the number four generation from Downhams. Andy Revival, the bitch I showed you. La quatrième génération de mon élevage. It's my son. Long time ago. He is now 40 years old. Mon fils, il a maintenant 40 ans, donc ça fait, ça fait un mal. Holding one of the puppies. Me. Judging for the very first time in America. It was in 1979. See? Long hair. The same show, the best dog and the best bitch. Même expo, meilleur de race, non, meilleur femelle et meilleur mâle. Next, my son, getting older. Holding one of the down home puppy. Mon fils encore avec un chou de mon élevage. I judge in one of the local shows in Hong Kong. Là, je juge dans une des expos à Hong Kong. This photo was taken in 1990s, I think. I'm holding well one of the puppy. I don't know whether. This puppy is my last litter or not, I, I, I forget. C'était en 1990, je me rappelle plus si c'était bien ma dernière portée que j'ai faite. Okay. Another photo of one of my cream color beach. Une autre photo de ma femelle crème. Okay. Another beach of mine. Une autre femelle. A head study. Des photos de tête. Me again. Encore moi. Try to stack the ears into the head. En essayant de monter les oreilles. Okay. Ah, this is from a from a some sort of a a broken glass in a plane. Tangong's little P is the second generation from any. And Tang Hong's Muichi is the same dog with the hook carriage tail. Okay? Voilà les têtes de, de la chaîne avec le, la, la queue en, en crochet. Et l'autre deuxième, deuxième génération de mon élevage. Yeah. Ah, another story. Okay, since this photo was shown, let me tell you this story. 
I, I was invited to go back to mainland China. I think the year could be 1982 or 83. At that time, because the Sabe was known to the world at that time. So in the origin of the Sabe, this is a picture taken in a village in Thailand, Guangdong province. So they asked me to go back and try to observe, to study the dogs they are remaining. Ça c'est une photo euh, qu'on a prise en 1982 ou 3 quand j'étais invité en Chine et à ce moment-là le charpé était déjà mondialement connu mais là on est dans un petit village en Chine et on m'a demandé d'étudier les chiens de là-bas. So I was there taking a picture of one of the dogs. Donc j'ai pris des, des photos d'un de, de leurs chiens. Next, the same dog, but in different angle. Le même chien, mais un angle différent. Next, same dog, again in different angle. Même chose. Same dog. Toujours le même chien. Same dog. Et encore. Another dog with pig ears. Un autre chien avec les oreilles dressées. Same dog with pig ears. Même chien. One of the this was this was a male or female. I'm not I'm not sure, but one of the dogs that I took a picture. Là, un autre chien que j'ai pris en photo. Je suis plus sûr si c'est un mâle ou une femelle. Another one. Un autre. That is another one. Encore un autre chien. I think this is the same dog as the previous one, a bitch. Ça c'est le même que tout à l'heure. Now, this is something I want to explain to you. This is a bitch. This is not a rusty color. This is a black and tan pattern like a doberman. That if you nowadays you have a dog with this color, it is not acceptable in the story. How to differ the rusty color dog and the black and tan pattern? Uh, no, it's okay. When you look a sape from a distance, the sape was there, is there, I'm here, when I look at that. If I find the dog is basically a yellow color, a fawn color dog with a dark cast, with a dark shade from the head to the back, this is a rusty color giving you some sort of sable event. But if I look at the dog here, I find, I can see the black and tan pattern like a dobe, like a rock wire. That is not acceptable color. So the difference sometimes is very close. Can you say that? Yeah. Euh, parfois, il est difficile de distinguer la couleur que j'ai nommée auparavant, de Rusty. Quand on voit à distance un charpé euh, qui est faune, mais on voit sur son dos une couleur plus foncée, euh, on parle de Rusty, rouille. Et quand on voit la chaîne sur la photo, il est clair que c'est du black and tan et ce n'est pas acceptable dans la race. So, you can see from this photo, you can see the two yellow dots above the eye. You can see on the cheek, they are yellow color, and the border between the dark color and the yellow color is very obvious. Inside the leg, and on the 
Uh, and on the shoulder, you can find the tan pattern of a black and tan dog. So this is a wrong color. Quand on regarde la photo, on voit les taches jaunes euh, euh, sur la tête. À l'intérieur des cuisses, on voit du jaune aussi. Mais sur les épaules, on voit clairement du très foncé, du, du tan. Donc, euh, ce n'est pas acceptable. Another page. Okay. Very big muscle. That is another page. Okay, goes on. Well, this one, a better body, but a very bad head, and really big ears like a German Shepherd. Un bon corps, celle-ci, mais une tête plus berger allemand que Jean-Pierre. Go on. Another big, with big ears and very big muscle. Encore une femelle avec les oreilles dressées et très peu de muscles. Go on. A puppy. Un chou. Same puppy, I think. Même, même chou, je pense. Another puppy. Encore un chou. Is a guy holding a puppy? Okay, this picture, you recognize who I was in the picture? And the others are actually the officials who invite me. They are government. They come from the government. They are the officials of that local government who invite me to have observation and investigation into their dogs. Me voilà entouré des officiels euh, du gouvernement, du, du village, qui m'ont invité pour étudier leurs chiens. So, after looking at these pictures in the Minian China, in the origin of Sape, it was in the 1980s. You can see many types of dogs, big ears, small ears, Different in size, different in shape and make. So, at that time, I told them what to do. I said, you guys, you must collect all your good ones and put them together. Not just let your dog to run out to the village and have a mate and come back with a Little of different puppies. And that is something that you must do. You build up your stud book before the others will accept your breed of dog. But unfortunately, after that, I heard nothing from them. But <coughs> you've seen all these pictures. Let me tell you something. First of all, you see all the dogs that are shown in dialect in those early days, 1980s. You, nowadays, you call them all horse coat, right? There are no brush coat at all. <laughs> Secondly, have you noticed the tail carriage of all those dogs, even a different head, bad head, Bad body, but the tail carriage, even including the puppies, they are still excellent. So, think about it. That is the, well, somebody called it, these dogs are from the origin and got to be more pure bred, which to me, it was not. But, they still got some features which is unique to Sape as a bit. They, after you see the pictures, they are still there. 
Euh, on m'a demandé euh, que faire maintenant euh